Welcome back. Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and uh, this has been a big roller coaster of a day. So both yesterday and today, we tried to rally up towards 51,823, and then we broke down. And now we've created an inverted uh, hammer here, which is a fairly a bearish sign. If we break below the 20 exponential moving average, that opens the door to the 50 moving average at 40,643 dollars. That is also the previous highs here, and that would make a lot of sense to basically bounce from that area. Yes, the cryptocurrency market has had a major pullback. Usually, Bitcoin is the cryptocurrency that uh, leads the way. You all occasionally have other cryptos that rally when Bitcoin basically fall, falls apart, but that is uh, it is usually Bitcoin that basically controls uh, the flow of this market. If you look at the technical indicators for for Bitcoin. They are either they're either flat or bearish at this point. But break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50. So let's look at Ethereum. So we have also been all over the place here. We did fall uh, four six consecutive days all the way down to 1,355. Rallied yesterday up towards the 20 exponential. That offered a lot of resistance. We tested again almost a day and then we broke down and created this inverted hammer here. And at this point, it is we are most likely going to test the 50 moving average again at around 1500. So, if the 50 moving average breaks, which uh, it looks like we are going to test at the moment, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement. How far basically is this uh, going to go? So the reason why we pulled back from here is mostly because we ran into resistance here, the first Fibonacci retracement. If we break the 50, then we'll head to the first Fibonacci retracement, which is the for these previous highs here, and that is roughly a 1,382. Then we'll head towards the 50, that's 1,186, and then all the way down to roughly $1,000 uh, level. And that is, of course, usually the market likes round numbers, and there will occur a lot of buying if it drops to this uh, level here. So, yes, we are experiencing a pullback in the cryptocurrency market. There is a lot of support underneath. There is still a lot of enthusiasm for uh, cryptocurrencies. So, um, I would not bet the ranch on this falling completely apart because there will basically be people that will buy in it all along the, along the way. So it could rally all of the sudden. But the look out for here for most of them is basically a pullback and then basically a rally to the upside. So 2000 is basically a major resistant here and a, a very high in Ethra. So let's look at Cardano. Yes, so Cardano is one of those cryptocurrencies that has been rallying when Bitcoin and Ethereum have basically been fallen. So this is a competitor to, uh, to, uh, to Ethereum. And as you can see, 20 exponential has been holding significantly. So yes, we tried to test the previous highs here, pull back quite a bit. Technical indicators are looking fairly bullish for this. We're on the edge of being overbought. So it's completely different... different um, um, different movement to, to this cryptocurrency compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. If we manage to take out these highs here, then probably go to 125. Uh, Pull back towards a 20 exponential, that should offer a lot of support. So let's look at Litcoin. So this had a massive rally all of a sudden today. So we fell off a cliff right here at 243, all the way down to 156. And then we rallied in two days back to 202. And then now we have basically broken down and we're trading underneath the 20 exponential. And that's not a very good sign. Uh, if we had stopped above the 20 exponential or 
so on, then we could see this rallying to the upside. We could still, still see that. Technical units are slowly turning around, even though they're still bearish. But I just don't really see this making a v, uh, v shaped recovery. Last time we broke down, it saw something limited to this. We did rally to the upside around half of the of the fall, which we already have done. So we have rallied up towards the half of this fall, and then it broke down again. So if we're going to see the similar movement, we'll break down, go back to rough half, and then break down again to the same level around uh, 156, and then continue rallying. So to see a V-shaped recovery here, I don't buy into that, uh, but to see a rally up towards the middle around uh, this area here and then break back down towards the 50, uh, that would make much more sense. We'll build momentum like we did here and then take off. So let's look at NEO. So this has tried to rally. It also fell off a cliff at uh, 54 all the way down to uh, $30 or $31. And then it rallied up towards uh, $43. And then it broke down, rallied again. And now we are, well, trading just about the 20 exponential moving average, which is a, a fairly positive sign. Technical indicators for this are either flat or bearish at this point. Um, yes. We could basically look at the Fibonacci retracement, also see what is basically going on here. We can see that we did break the 50. The 61.8 is right at the 50 moving average. So it is very unlikely that we'll break this support level. We're testing the first Fibonacci retracement at 38.2% at this point. Uh, but a break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 at the 30. Uh, $34. So yes, we could go back towards this level here and then go higher. I don't really see either this uh, cryptocurrency just making a V-shaped recovery all of a sudden. That probably won't occur until, for example, Bitcoin leads the way. So let's look at from. So as you can see, very similar here. We did uh, rally towards 0 0.06 uh, and then fell all the way down to the 50 moving average, which is significant support, and then rallied above the 20 exponential and then broke down. So we created this fairly inverted hammer here, and that is often a uh, negative sign. We could see this rally back uh, or fall back towards the 50 moving average before going higher. A break above the 20 exponential, all that could open the door to, to uh, 0 0.06. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish at this point. So uh, yes, it is it's not like we need basically the stochastic to turn around for most of these cryptos before we go higher. So, hope you find help with this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.